Hi, I'm Greg with GregorySound.com in Madison, Wisconsin. Today we're checking out the new firmware from Behringer. This is the uh, beta version 2.01, and uh, they added a whole bunch of stuff, including um, some new plugins like uh, some vintage compressors and EQs, uh, 670, an LA-2A, an 1176, a Pultec EQ, an MEQ-5. They also added a 100-band uh, RTA, um, and new EQ functions, there's new scene management, and a whole bunch of other stuff. A little disclaimer, if you are upgrading from 1.15, this will erase your entire board, meaning you all of your scenes and all of your settings will be erased, so if there's anything that you want to keep, if you just want to try out the new uh, firmware, make sure you back up your console. Um, that way when you put 1.15 back on the board, you'll have all of your shows. Another thing to keep uh, in mind is that None of your shows uh, from version 1.15 are going to be compatible with version 2. Not yet anyway, and hopefully Behringer can correct that. Anyway, let's go over this real quick. Um, I have channel 1 selected, and I just want to show you the EQ. The RTA is working. We are actually listening to this channel right now, and um, that's awesome. So now you can see the fundamental frequencies of any given channel. That's incredible. A really useful tool. It's, like, it's almost like having a new board. It's amazing. Um, and also... If we go to the main bus, um, you can see the RTA working on the main bus. We can flip that over to Spectrograph. That also works on the individual channel EQ. Um, some new and exciting plugins. Um, this four tap delay is new. And if we hit utility, we can scroll through some of the other new ones here. A whole bunch of new ones. Um, some really cool ones. Uh, if we go back to the channel, uh, one of the cool things that uh, that I notice, and this will be really good for like a novice engineer, is that there is channel presets now, and you can just go through those here. Um, it looks like there's different categories, maybe like different people at Behringer made some. So you can just scroll through there's those there and um, pick whatever you like. There's 76 of them, so that's awesome. And there's a new scene management section. There's some more information on Behringer's website about that. Uh, supposedly it's going to be more user friendly for like theaters and that kind of thing so looking forward to checking that out i do have a show tomorrow so i don't think i'm going to run this firmware just yet i'm going to give it a little bit more time so i will be putting 1.15 back on the system tonight before my show and uh i can't wait for them to come out with a, an official release so that i can feel a little more comfortable but uh, it seems pretty stable i have had this on all night pretty much um I've had that. I've had it up and running now for about four or five hours. I haven't turned it off at all, and everything's to be. Everything seems to be really stable. Like I said, I am doing the vocal for the video um, right through the Behringer board. We're going out of the RCA outputs on the back of the Behringer board, and we're just taking a copy of the main bus right into the uh, Canon 60D, and that is the audio we're listening to. Again, my name is Greg White, and I'm with GregorySound.com in Madison, Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.